Zaveria Missionary Summary presents Drew My Life, San Guido Maria Conforti San Guido was born in Casalora Ravadese, Italy, on March 30, 1865. Every morning he enters St. Mary of Peace Chapel, walking to school. To visit the big crucifix that was there. San Guido said that he received this vocation from that crucifix. I looked at him and he looked at me and it seemed he was telling me many things. In 1876, he joined the seminary of the Diocese of Parma. Later, reading the life of St. Francis Xavier grew inside of him the desire to announce the gospel to all nations. In 1895, San Guido founded a missionary congregation with the only goal to bring the gospel to the non-Christian, the well-known Saveria Missionary Society, giving them St. Francis Xavier as a model and protector. In 1902, St. Conforti was named Archbishop of Ravenna, Italy. He had to present his resignation because of infirmity. San Guido went back to his missionary institute. Once healed, he took care of the formation of his students and wrote the constitutions for his missionary family. At the end of 1907, he was named the Bishop of Parma. During 25 years, he was their pastor taking care of everyone, particularly of the poor and the weak ones. In 1926, San Guido wrote a letter expressing the desire to found the female branch of the Zaveria missionaries. He couldn't accomplish this dream. But some years after his death, one of his missionaries, Father James Spagnolo, accomplished it. San Guido gave himself tirelessly to the Ad Gentes evangelization. In 1928, Saint Conforti traveled to China to visit the communities and places that had been entrusted to the Zaveria missionaries there. On November the 5th, 1931, San Guido died at the age 66 in Parma. He was proclaimed as a saint by Benedict the 16th the World Mission Sunday on October 23, 2011. The Saveria missionaries, having as a model St. Francis Xavier and following the example of their founder, St. Guido Maria Conforti, proceed with the mission that Jesus entrusts to his disciples. Go throughout the world, preaching the gospel to every creature,